Right, hey guys, Gary G back again for another video. Thank you for coming back. I know it's been a long time, but I'm back with a video for you guys. A long time ago, Yamatic, the company that had the pressure washer gun that I compared to the SGS-28 by MTM sent me their 50 foot pressure washer hose. This bad boy right here. So you can see it's 50 foot, quarter inch, 3200 PSI, very similar to an Uberflex or a Flexzilla. Comes with all the connectors that you need to do quick connect. All your quick connects, which is really nice. It comes with that. This is M22 by 14 mil. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so you might be seeing something that I see, which is leaking. I've done everything I can to fix these connections uh, and it's leaking from this. I don't know if it's just a defective unit. Um, there's no reviews that I saw saying that it leaks on Amazon. So it might just be my unit. I'm not sure. These are all the connections that it came with. And everything is Teflon. Everything has the rubber back. But as you can see, it's losing pressure because of that leak. One thing I want to show up close is the Uberflex hose is known for not having any memory. This feels almost like a foam if I could describe it as anything. It's like foam instead of rubber. There goes that pressure loss. But anyways, it's under pressure, so we're not gonna see any memory. But as you can see, it's still bent a little bit. So you do have a little bit of memory with this one. All right, so I'm gonna start uh, washing the wheels just to get started washing the car. For those of you who do care, this is NanoSkin non-acid that I'm spraying on the wheels. Um, I think it's like a five to one dilution. Try not to go too heavy because the face of the wheels are ceramic coated, so you don't really need to go too heavy. But the pressure washer hose, um, it, it, it holds up to everything that you would need, uh, if, whether you're a professional or whether at home. So I, I want to make that clear that you can do both, but I would highly recommend that maybe this be used in an area where you have another one around just in case just because i haven't used it more than a month um, so i can't tell you whether there's going to be a hundred percent reliability or not and i'd hate for you guys to uh you know to get stuck with a hose that bursts on you or anything so i've had that happen before and it's not any fun So Yamatic did tell me that this pressure washer hose was going to be the same quality as Uberflex. Now, I have to be honest, obviously, I was a little skeptical because there's really not anything else out there that's doing what Uberflex and Flexzilla, respectively, um, are doing because, also, if you didn't know, the Flexzilla and the Uberflex are exactly the same hose, just a, a different brand. It's made under the same uh, company different name. One is cheaper than the other. I would recommend you buy the Uberflex if you're going to get one of the two. So anyways, they told me that it was going to be the same quality. Um, obviously, I was very um, skeptical of that because, like I said, I haven't seen anything that's come close to what the Uberflex is doing. And after using this, I can honestly tell you it's not the same quality. It's just not. So currently, the Pneumatic is on Amazon for $31 for the 50 foot. If you go on there and you look up Uberflex, it's on there for $50.85. So by going with this hose, you're going to save about 20 bucks. Um, <clears throat> however, in our business, I think that quality and longevity matters. When we're out in a job and we're spraying down a vehicle or we're doing what we need to do and we can't count on our products to last so like i said it might it might last but i, I don't I, I doubt that this will last very long term um we can't have that happen so i don't know if i would recommend this for a mobile rig i would definitely recommend it for something at home that you're going to use on your own vehicles and i think that it's a good quality for 30 bucks so take that for what you will You might have seen me struggling with the hose here. What I was trying to do is straighten it out, but this material 
doesn't like to straighten out like an Uberflex. Now, if you can see here, there's a bend. It does have some memory in it. I'm seeing that it is holding memory. And you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear this. Hear that cracking? There's something cracking on the inside of it. I'm not sure what that is. All right, so we're all done washing the vehicle. She's all done. It's crazy foggy, so maybe there wasn't really any reason to wash it, but I haven't washed this thing for about three weeks, so I had to do something. Anyways, the hose worked fine. Like I said, I have some concerns. The fact that this connector right here, this is bend it. It's bent and it's not going back. Whenever you take this hose like this, listen, you can get it to crack. The pneumatic gun is good. The hose is decent, but as you can see, it holds memory. The hose comes in this box here, premium non-marking replacement extension hose. It comes with all these connectors. It does come with a lot. So you get your 50 foot of hose, all your connectors, your quick connects, 3,200 PSI, quarter inch, 50 foot pneumatic. So would I recommend this? Yeah, I'd recommend it for a home setup. Like I said, home setup. Would I recommend it for a mobile detailer? Nope. Just because I don't know if I can count on the longevity of it. The fact that anytime I bend it, it makes a cracking sound. The fact that it holds memory. The fact that it feels like it's made of foam, even though it's rubber. <clears throat> it's just, I don't know if I could trust it to be on a mobile rig. I've had things go down on me and I just don't want that to happen ever again. I, I do everything I can to buy stuff that's quality to where I won't do that. Like, like I said, maybe this thing will never do that. I, I don't know, but I don't know if I trust this for my mobile rig, but definitely for a home setup. Anyways, guys, thank you for coming back to another video. I appreciate you guys. I know it's been a really long time. Just wanted to get back into it after taking some time off. Business has been very good. So I've been focusing on my business as opposed to the YouTube. So I apologize to all those people that wanted to see videos. Here's another video. I'm going to get back into the swing of things, hopefully doing one once a week. So if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, share. I appreciate you guys. All my Stay Slick fam. Peace. Stay Slick. Let's get it. Thank you.